Hi, I'm Evan A. Stay tuned because today's guest on the Showcase Talk Show is Emmalyn Stewart. Stick around. Welcome to the Showcase, baby. The Showcase. Today's guest conceptualized all of it. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend, Evelyn Stewart. Evelyn! How, <laughs> how are you? Good. Good. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much yes. for coming. Have a seat. Yes. Thank Have you. a seat. Thank you. So, I'm going to ask you a loaded question here. Oh, already? Yeah. You're starting off I'm, strong. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. Okay. Tell my friends at home who Evelyn is. So, I am, uh, besides all the obvious stuff, like mm -hmm. I'm yeah, my mom. <laughs> I always feel like I leave my kids out. Um, yeah, so I am the owner of Stewart Films LLC, which is the company that we use to produce projects. Uh, I am the founder of October Film Festival. We've been around seven years now. Um, and I just opened Stewart Cinema and Cafe, so I'm the first black Latina in Brooklyn to own my own movie theater. Love it, love it. Thank so you. thank you for having me, by the way. It's oh very my god, fun. I'm so glad that change you're of here. pace for me. Mm -hmm. Get me out of the office. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go back a little bit because we have Stewart Films LLC, and that's how it kind of like all started mm -hmm. here in like mm -hmm. the creative world. Yes, but I want to rewind because you weren't always in the creative world. You went to school for business, didn't you? I sure did. And so I always say I'm a businesswoman who happens to love the arts, mm -hmm. and so a lot of my business savvy has been used. Uh, for the arts, to make okay. movies, to build movie theater, to create a film festival, to make okay. movies, okay. that type of thing. What is it about the arts that you just love so much? You know, I think that there's power in storytelling. Mm -hmm. I think to be able to paint a picture the way that you see it, individually, collectively, I think there's a lot of power in that. Nice, nice. I totally agree. It's funny because I went to school for business too. But like I've always been in the arts, but I just went into it because I never wanted to be that artist that didn't know what was going on behind the scenes, mm. you know? So that, that was just so funny that, you know, yeah. we have that similarity there. Yeah. So let's go forward here. You've done a lot of projects I with have. Stewart Films LLC. You've had how many projects? Like 19? 19. Let, let's go Film, back. TV, pro all, I don't write or direct, so it, it's okay. strictly on the business side, producing, executive producing, okay. um, helping with distribution, that type of thing. Okay. Now, you do a lot of distribution with your new cinema, right? Is that correct? We just started. Okay. So, we are, uh, we're just, we're currently running a Stewart Cinema and Cafe distribution series. Okay. Um, and we're going to select a feature film. Okay. And we're going to run it for four days in a mini theater run. And mm -hmm. all of the money collected from the theater mm -hmm. tickets, movie tickets, is going to go to that filmmaker. Wow. That yeah. is awesome. How do you decide what films to select and what artists to, you know, do you, do you like approach them? Do you have like a drawing? Like how does one get involved in that to potentially be, you know, showcased? Yeah. So we're using Film Freeway, which is one of the bigger ways that people submit films. Mm -hmm. Um, and so people submit their films, and then we have interns and um, programming people who watch it okay. and then kind of give us their top five, and then we kind of narrow it down from okay. there. Okay. So it's kind of like America's Got Talent, but just like but all behind the scenes. Exactly. And then you just see the exactly. people who, you exactly. know, are in the forefront for this yeah. particular yeah. run. Yeah. And you don't like exclude those people from like future showcases. It's just you have to narrow it down yeah. for this particular exactly. one. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So I know that you. Uh, produced a film that you got best producer for like the LA Web Fest, is that right? Yes, so that was one of my first projects. It actually was a web series. Okay. Um, and actually the, the man who started that passed away a couple of years ago, but it was my first web series. Mm -hmm. We had, I don't know, over two million views. Wow. Uh, we did get some uh, broadcasting uh, distribution for it. 
and yeah, so it was like my first really big win, That's and awesome. uh, it just continued to motivate me because I started off with a short film that somebody gave me. Mm -hmm. They needed help with it. I didn't know anything about the industry. I did have friends at networks, but I had never really been in the um, entertainment business. Right. And um, so I produced this short film that cost too much to produce mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> from the business perspective. Um, but it won a whole bunch of awards. It was called Wings and Beer. And it just, and then I said, wow, I mean, I could help so many people mm -hmm. if I could figure out how to monetize this. Right. And um, yeah, and so that sort of started my passion. Okay. What was after Wings and Beer? So after Wings and Beer, uh, I did a short called Heads or Tails, mm -hmm. and that also did well. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that was on television, it was on Fox, on oh. one of those um, short film okay. distribution series. Uh, so I was, I don't know if I was just very fortunate or if the timing was right, mm -hmm. but I was able to really get a lot of movement on my early projects, nice. which just helped to, because right. if I wouldn't have done well, I probably would have said, oh no, I need to do right. something else. It helped to maintain the momentum yeah. and just keep you yeah. going. And yeah. it was sort of confirmation. You know how we're always looking for confirmation? Mm -hmm. And so it, it helped me to see what could be. Right. Right, that is awesome. So you, you're not exclusive to just web series. You've also had something on off Broadway too. Yes, what yes. Was that I'll like? never do that again. Yes. What? <laughs> I will never do that again. Theater is so, so fun. Why? You know, theater is is a very emotional roller coaster yeah. because it's live, mm -hmm. and if people are falling asleep during the show, you can see it. Yeah. You know, it's like I make a movie and somebody watches it at home and they don't like it, oh well, right? Yeah. But here, like, you can see people's reaction. Yeah. Um, and so I didn't know what I was doing again, and mm -hmm. so I did a four-week run at uh, an off-Broadway with 200-seater, okay. five nights a week. And we had Kevin Brown from 30 Rock was in it. Okay. Um, Lawrence St. Vincent was in it. I mean, we had a lot of great actors in it. And it was a passion project for me. Okay. It was about um, Haiti and Henry Box, um, who shipped himself to freedom. Mm -hmm. And so I fell in love with the story. Mm -hmm. So I agreed to produce it with some other um, people. But it was a massive undertaking. And I didn't realize how hard it is to get bodies mm -hmm. into the theater to yeah. watch. Yeah theater and I mean and we had an amazing cast mm -hmm. um, so I think plays are really hard and then I was emotionally attached to it and I think when you are emotionally attached to a project mm -hmm. you, it's very hard to be objective and so mm -hmm. I have had to understand that it's a business right and and with film and TV it's about the deliverables right, it's, right. we create yeah. these amazing stories we tell them and then we figure out how to market them and get them out right. With plays, it's just so, yeah, I can't do that again. <laughs> I keep, I've, I've read a whole bunch of um, things that people have sent me for plays, and, and I've been pitched a couple of things. I just, yeah. it's just, it's, I don't know, maybe when I retire, but <laughs> right now, it's just too The, the right too play will come across your desk, and you'll say, that's That's it. why you should never say that. never. Right. Right, you can never say never, right. because you don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So after doing, you know, Wings and Beer, and doing this off-Broadway play, 2013, we conceptualized October Film Festival. That's right. So I um, was fortunate enough to have my films and projects in a whole bunch of film festivals, mm -hmm. small and, and larger film festivals. And I felt, first of all, I'm a woman. I'm traveling alone to mm -hmm. all these festivals right. for the most part. And I felt like I was lost in a lot of the film festivals. And I was coming home, and I didn't feel like I was getting anything out of it. You know, they would screen my film, and then it was like, you know, and a lot of it with the bigger festivals was very political. Mm. You know, the, the films with the celebrities in it sort of got more attention. Right. Um, and so rather than complain, I was on my way, I was flying home from one of the festivals, and I said, there's got to be a better way. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I thought, so rather than complain, I'm just going to build my own film festival. Right. And I will gather my resources, and I will start a film festival, and I did. Originally, we were part of the October Music and Film Festival. Okay. That was our launch. Um, but what I realized is that music and film is very different. Mm -hmm. The creatives are different, right? And they function differently. And so, when you try to take uh, filmmakers and put them in the same room with music artists, the the 
there's a rub there that doesn't seem to work well. Mm -hmm. So I separated from the music festival and then went strictly October Film Festival. Okay. And so we're seven years old this year. Okay. Um, and we're really like a teaching resource festival. Okay. I can honestly say that I know every filmmaker who screened at my festival because okay. I am there every day from the time that it opens mm -hmm. to the time that it closes. It is my business to know who's there, to make sure that they're treated well, that mm -hmm. they get what they need. Right. Um, and so it's it's very personal for me. Mm -hmm. And it's it's just, I think we need a lot of film festivals. People say, yeah. oh my God, so many. But we need it because it's an outlet mm -hmm. for films that yeah. otherwise no one would ever see. Right. Um, but we are concentrated on empowering, inspiring, and educating filmmakers so that they can go out and come back next year with bigger projects. So we have a lot of, um, a lot of alumni that go off, do great projects, and come back the next year with something bigger and better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you say a teaching festival, mm -hmm. like what, what lessons do you instill upon, you know, the different directors, producers, and actors yeah. who are, you know, partake in these festivals? So we um, provide a lot of resources. Like uh, last year, the year before last, we had a whole resource center. And so we invited um, all kinds of different companies to come in that do filming, that do you know, distribution that help with funding and we put them all in a big area and we had the filmmakers be able to speak to each of those separately so that they could learn and get information that they needed. Okay. Um, but that whole being a teaching festival is what led me to build the movie theater. Okay. Because every year the filmmakers were saying thank you for this award, it's really shiny, it's nice, it's gonna look great in my house, but what happens to me now? Like right. what? What's next for me? Like how do I make money? So I so you're acknowledging that my project is amazing, mm -hmm. but now what? Right. What do I? And do I was sending them home, and I felt such a like a burden of responsibility. Like mm -hmm. I can't have these people come back next year, and I still don't have an answer. Right. Um. Right. And so I said, well, what if I built a movie theater? One, it would give the festival a home. Mm -hmm. Two, I could provide distribution mm -hmm. for the filmmakers in the festival. Mm -hmm. um, a place for them to screen that was high end. So we have 4K projections, surround sound, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, we have a 12 foot stage. We have so we can also accommodate music artists. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what if I built a great place where they can show their stuff and make money? Love it. And that's how I came up with the movie theater. Hold that thought. We're going to be right back. We're going to take a word from our sponsor. Stick around for more of Evelyn Stewart. Many people struggle with natural hair when washing it. Ooh, ah, ah. Finding the right product that leaves your natural hair both shiny and manageable can be frustrating. You try product after product. Nothing seems to be a good match. Now try No Ooch and Ouch Detangling Serum. Ooh. No Ooch and Ouch Detangling Serum. It's great for all hair types, even kids, and gentle enough to use every single day. Oh, yay! Grab your bottle today at KimmyStyles.com. That's K-I-M-M-I-E-S-T-Y-L-Z. Dot com. Yes. Welcome back. I'm your host, Evan A. I'm here with Emmeline Stewart. Now, Emmeline, we were just talking about the October Film Festival and your movie theater. Yes. Right? So, we talked about, you know, the October Film Festival is a teaching festival. You have a lot of resources there. And let me ask you before we move on to the movie theater what makes the October Film Festival different than something like um, the American Black Film Festival, for instance? So we are not, um, ABFF is an African, it, it's an, a film festival for African Americans, mm -hmm. writer, directors, actors, things like that. We're more um, universal okay. in that we accept films uh, from any talented uh, filmmaker. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Because I know they also have, you know, other, because you have guest speakers and celebrity yes. guest speakers. Yes, and we've had Harry Lennox, Hill Harper, um, uh, Damon Simmons, we've had um, Damon Dash. Okay. Yeah, so we've yeah. had a lot of uh, celebrities so come by. Yeah, yeah. So we've been very fortunate. We had um, Leon oh. from the Five Heartbeats. Uh, I love Leon. Yeah, me too. <laughs> He's probably going to watch this, but yeah. So, um, yeah, so we've had a lot of great um, celebrities come by just to support, not me, mm -hmm. but to support the film. Just the movement, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, just to say, hey, you know, we did it, you can do it. And so, yeah, so in that regard, there's a lot of similarities between us and a lot of other film festivals. Right, 
Okay, so how does one uh, submit to mm -hmm. be a part of the October Film Festival? So our website, October Film Fest, and October spelled O C K. Okay. T O B E R. Octoberfilmfest.com, mm -hmm. and then there's a link to Film Freeway, or you can just uh, Google October Film Festival, mm -hmm. and our page will come up. This year, the festival is October third through the sixth. Okay. Um, and it will be at Stewart Cinema and Cafe. Lovely, lovely. Um and yeah, so we're excited. And submissions are open till June. Okay. Like June what? Is it the end of June? The end the of, June. of June. Okay. Until the end of June. So you can start submitting now yes. and you have until the end of June. Yes. Like Thirty days in June. Yes. So then yes. you can submit until June yeah. thirty. So um what is the criteria to submit? So we're doing shorts features, web series, we do music videos. Mm -hmm. Um and so uh, there's some uh length of time that the projects have to be. But otherwise, there's no real. It, it could have been made five years ago, six years ago, because we understand that great projects have been made, right. you know, and it could have been five years ago, but this just never, no one really saw it. Right. So right. we don't have a restriction on when the project was, okay. was made. Awesome. And then all the instructions are, of course, Absolutely. on the website mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So let's fast forward a little bit. Yes. So we have Stewart Cinema and Cafe. My new baby. <laughs> when was your baby born? <laughs> <laughs> my baby was born in September of last year. Okay. So we're only about six months old. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. So what makes this, this theater, you know, different from the average theater? Because this is not like a Lowe's. You know, this is something a little bit more impactful, so to speak, yeah. right? So we, I, I built the theater from scratch. It used to be a warehouse, and there was like construction uh, trucks in there, so it really gave me a chance to build what I wanted to see. Okay. Um, and we have a cafe attached to it so people can eat and bring the food into the theater. So okay. it's sort of like a Nighthawk, but for filmmakers, okay. let's say. Uh, but we also show regular films. Right now we're showing Black Cladsman, okay. Creed 2, A Star is Born, which is one mm. of the Oscar nominated films. Um, and we're also, we have video gaming, so we are a community center as well. Nice. So it's a place where I can really give back in ways that mm -hmm. I've always wanted to, just didn't have the venue or the time or the space to do it. Um, so it's different in that it is created to help artists monetize what they do okay. to make money. Okay. So the model that we have when they rent the space is that they could make money. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. And we're off in Dango, movie phone, so it really helps to add credibility mm -hmm. when the filmmakers show their feature films in right. our space. Right. That's awesome. And then some yep. of those filmmakers come from the October Film Fest, too. Absolutely. So they have, now today win these prestigious awards, all of a sudden now yes. Yes. you can, you know, actually showcase your work so that the, the masses can and see it. And the community wants to see it. Mm -hmm. And we can advertise it to the community, and so when they're coming in to watch Creed mm -hmm. or to watch Black Klansman, they'll see a trailer for your film. Lovely. And it just it, it it allows it allows the filmmaker to take the, his game to the next level. I love it. I love it. Where is Stewart Cinema and Cafe? We are located at seventy nine West Street okay. in Brooklyn, New York. That's in Greenpoint, right okay. near Williamsburg. Okay. Yeah. G train to Greenpoint. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. So what else are we working on now? So, um, you know, I say this all the time, I don't have like this big vision like, oh, I, you know, five years from now, this one, I'm just doing the next best thing. And that's how I operate. What is the next best thing to do? And I think for me, the next best thing to do right now is to focus on distribution, mm -hmm. more distribution, right. and then um, to expand the theater, to build the same thing elsewhere. So we're looking at places like Atlanta, LA, okay. and some of the islands as well that yeah. don't have access. Mm -hmm. um, and we're, so we're trying to help filmmakers everywhere. Okay. And so the next thing is going to be expansion of what we already have. Okay. Now you also do like public speaking and stuff too, right? Yes. So I'm actually speaking at Brooklyn College okay. next week. Um, and so yeah, I do a lot of just, and I do a lot of consulting with mm -hmm. uh, filmmakers. So, and I'll be able to do more of that. And okay. I, I'm sort of, I think, a teacher at heart, yeah. you know? So I love the ability to be able to teach. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I really love all of this. Now, for all of our friends who want to follow you and who want to learn more about you, because there just isn't enough time to yeah. learn all about Emily. Oh, I can have you here all in, in October film. <laughs> Plus, festival. I'm passionate about this stuff, so I'm always talking about it. You have to be passionate. That's the yeah. only way. Yeah. What's your Instagram? So my Instagram is Emily Stewart. That's my personal. Okay. And then the uh, theater is Stewart Cinema. Okay. And our website? 
stewardcinema.com okay. is the theater site. Do we have a YouTube? We do. It's Stuart Cinema. <laughs> it's easy. It's yeah, really it's easy. Stuart Cinema. If you look for Stuart Cinema, you'll find everything. So I can just Google you. Yeah, or you can just, just Google me, yes. And just everything will pop yes, up. Yes. Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, everything, everything. everything. Emily Stewart or Stuart Cinema and Cafe. Awesome. Is there anything that you want to leave off with, you know, for our friends at home? You know, for the people who have been trying to do this or doing it for a long time, um, keep doing it because it's a matter of time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, when I got into this 10, 12 years ago, I had no idea that today I would own a movie theater. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that I would own a film festival, that I would have made 19 film and TV projects. So yeah. it's, you know, just every day. And, and again, I mean, it works for me. What's the next best thing to do? Right. Don't worry about two years from now, five years from now, just tomorrow. What's the, and I get up every day, like, what's the best thing to do today? For my purpose, right? Mm -hmm. And my purpose is to help artists. So what what can I do? Love it. Thank you so Thank much. You. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen, Evelyn Stewart. Remember, you can find her on her Instagram at Evelyn Stewart. Find the company on Instagram at Stewart Cinema. Follow her on um, her website, StuartCinema.com. Make sure you follow us, The Showcase TV, on Instagram. Follow yes. me, Ebony Forever, E-B-O-N-E-E-F-O-R-V-E-R. And if you want to be a potential guest, make sure you follow our booking manager, Brooklyn Mobile Tour. And make sure you follow us on YouTube, too. Until then, stay fabulous. Bye. Hey, it's your girl, Ebene of the Showcase Talk Show. Want to give a special shout out and great thank you to our food sponsors for today, Q Eats. Follow my man, Cordero Sellers, aka Chef Rocca, on Instagram at Q Eats. That's C U E E A T S. You want to get them to sponsor an event? Then just hit them up on Instagram or follow them, QEats at gmail.com. They're a Brooklyn based business, they've been around since 2015. All vegan, vegetarian food, all organic, all natural, all handmade from scratch. Check them out. I can tell you, it's delicious. Bye. I don't know. You know how much the last guy was charging me? What? Two thousand dollars. That's crazy. For two hours, I know. It's too hard. I'm done being a filmmaker. I'm telling you, they keep ripping us off, baby. I know. I. What? What's this? What is this? This I has to be new. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you. Yes, right, let's come on. Go. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to Stewart Cinema and Cafe. My name is Carl. How can I help you? Hi. Well, we just stumbled in here and... We've never seen this place before. Well, welcome to Stewart Cinema and Cafe. We have a 160-inch screen on the inside of our theater with a 4K projector as well as 70 seats inside. We show independent films as well as motion picture films as well. All brought to you by Mrs. Emmelyn Stewart, who wanted to create something for the independent artistic community. That's amazing. We've needed this in the community. Totally. Well, we appreciate you coming by. Hopefully, we'll see you again soon. Yes, absolutely. Very nice to meet you. Yes, we'll be back. <laughs> it's a dream come true. Who you are? What is your name? Damien Wood. Okay, your name? Ronnie James. All right, Ronnie. Ronnie and Damien, what are your positions respectively within the company? Um, we're a team, but um, I hold the title as being um, CEO. Okay. And the CEO of, of the um, 
clothing line, line of fire. And in addition, he's also the CEO of his own brand. Okay. Only the strong survive. Only the strong survive. Oh, right. So let's go back just a little bit. I want to know how did you guys end up working together? What brought this unity together? Um, basically, I'm um, a childhood friendship from from younger. Um, Damien got me by a couple of years, but uh, <laughs> other than that, um, I grew up. We grew up in the same neighborhood, Brooklyn, Brownsville section of Brooklyn. Okay. And uh, we recently reconnected, and uh, come to find out, uh, he had a passion for fashion, mm -hmm. and it really just took one conversation, really okay. just um, coming together, sharing ideas. And putting together a vision. Okay. The showcase, baby. The showcase. Righteous minds.